Bob Frost, the business manager, IBW 440 is with me right now, and Bob, it's nice to have you with me, and this is a really special night, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. We're celebrating our 75th anniversary for the IBEW Local 440 here in Riverside County. Bob, so much has changed over the years. 75 years is a long time for any business, for any organization. And particularly, organized labor, have been, there have been uh, unions that have had some struggles and some challenges, but IBEW 440 has kind of really risen above those challenges and is as strong today as it's ever been. Talk about some of the changes that you've seen, some of the real positive changes over the years. Okay. Um, over the years, when we first started out back in originally 1913. Um, we went through the recession, they merged us with another local, and right after that in 1939 we became a local again. Um, we went through World War II um, where they were doing some maneuvering around, and just recently in the last 10 years we've gone through the Great Recession. Uh, we had a lot of members that were down on their luck because of that, a lot of members out of work, but since then through negotiations and partnering with our community, we've been able to bring back jobs to our community and bring back their livelihood. And during that time period, we've seen some great growth. It's an amazing story. And tonight's really special because you're able to take and you're able to take a look back 75 years with all your members today. And you're able to take and, and kind of a, take account of, of all the victories, aren't you? Uh, yes. Because back in 1989, when we did our 50th anniversary, we were about 300 members. Today, we're pretty close to 950 members. Um, so tonight, you'll see a small amount of them here celebrating, and you'll hear some of the history taking place. Well, my name is uh, Dallas Steer, D-A-L-L-A-S-S-T-E-E-R-E. -E -E. And uh, what's your title and organization? Well, right now I'm retired. Okay. I've been retired about five years. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, and former president, uh, IBW 440, correct? That's correct. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Joining me now is Mr. Dallas Steer. He is the former longtime president of IBEW 440, our guest here tonight. And uh, Mr. Steer, welcome. It's good to have you. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, you are a long -time, uh, former longtime president of IBEW, and that was uh, for about 12 years. Is that correct? Can you tell us about how long ago that was? Well, let's see. That, the time I spent was eight years, okay. and that would have been in the 80s and uh, early 90s. And since that time, and uh, your presidency with the uh, Union Chapter 440, uh, have there, have you been able to kind of assess some of the changes that have taken place since then and its role in the community at large? We spoke with Bob Frost a little bit earlier, and he was talking about how much growth that he's seen, the growth in membership. Is there anything else that stands out to you in terms of, of, of kind of the new day and age and the role that the union plays with its workforce in the community that it serves here in the Riverside County area? Well, in this high-tech uh, community we live in now, uh, IBW has always kept right in step with that. So for us older members, <clears throat> it's, uh, we're very impressed and we're very thankful for these young men that have kept right in stride with it. So, uh, and the thing that impressed me was the growth. We grew a lot as a local and uh, like I said, just kind of exciting to uh, be in this great country and to be a member of the IBW, which just worked right in hand with this. So it's been a good life, a wonderful life for me. I'm standing now with Mr. John Brown. He's the business manager, financial secretary at IBW 477. And John, thanks so much for uh, taking the time to chat with this special guest tonight here at the uh, festivities celebrating uh, uh, the, uh, the other IBW chapter in the area. Yes, I am. I've worked with him for many years. And I'm uh, really enjoyed the time with them. What has it meant for you to be a, a, a member and, of course, now business manager, IBEW? How significant has that been, not just in your work history, but in your family's history as well, as far as how it's benefited your family? Well, for me personally, I, I worked was working non-union before I got into the union trade and got become an apprentice for a few years. 
Uh, about the same time I got married, I got into the apprenticeship, served my apprenticeship, and then I went on and I've, so far I've had a 38-year career, and in doing that I've raised five children, and I've been able to help them go to college and find their own careers out in the world, which has really been benefited. I've had a couple of kids with serious health issues, and having the health program that we have at this time, it helped us through it without breaking our bank. And previous to me being in the union, I had no health insurance, so I was doing the same work. I was doing electrical work throughout California, just like I do now, and there was no health with it. You just had to take it off your paycheck, and it was always burying us, you know, previous to that. So I'm very grateful for that happening. Tell us how significant it has been in your life, being a member of this organization and what it's meant to you and your family. Well, when I got out of high school, I went to a community college and took all the general education courses, and then I went to work for the railroad. And then I, I saw some people working at one of the jobs I was at, and they were doing electrical work, and I asked them about it. And it seemed like a great fit, you know, the camaraderie, the brotherhood that they had, the, uh, the technical skills they brought to it, you know, the training that they had, um, the, the lifestyle that they led. Um, all of it together was really attractive to me. It's, uh, it's enabled to me, it's enabled me to uh, uh, continue my education. When I graduated from the apprenticeship program, I was able to pay for my four-year degree from Cal State San Bernardino cash. I didn't have to get a student loan. And uh, having accomplished that, then I took the position of training director here, and uh, you know the rest is history. So the IBW has been very, very good to me, and I'm very appreciative of the uh, opportunities it's afforded me. John, J-O-H-N, O'Rourke, O apostrophe R, O-U-R-K-E. I'm with the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers and my title is International Vice President of the Knight District. Very honored now to speak with John O'Rourke. He is the International Vice President, Ninth District, IBEW. And Mr. O'Rourke, thank you so much for taking a moment to join us. Certainly, it's great to be here. You have an esteemed position with IBEW, International Vice President. So you have a very interesting viewpoint from where you are, a, from a global perspective. How significant a role does the IBEW play in terms of strength of middle class, but also providing security to families, those members of your organization? It's a very important role. You know, we're the last man standing. Our job is to go out and uplift the standards for all electrical workers, represented and unrepresented. So when we have gains at the bargaining table for our members, all others outside of our realm, their standard of living comes up. It's very important. Uh, tell us, too, uh, a little bit, Mr. O'Rourke, about your coming up through the union as well. I mean, everybody's got a history, and I'm sure that you've got an exciting one to talk about. Maybe just kind of some, some thoughts that, that let you pause and reflect and think, yeah, this, is, this has been good. It's been great. You know, at 19 years of age, I was given an opportunity to come into Local 6, IBW in San Francisco, served an apprenticeship, and was able to come up through the ranks. I gave service to my local and uh, had great opportunities, learned from some of the very best, had great mentors, uh, great, great uh, opportunities all the way along. I got nudged into a leadership role and served on my executive board at the local union as vice president, president, and elected business manager and brought on staff on uh, March 1st of 2012 as a position uh, with the international, as an international representative. And then here November 1st, appointed international vice president. So it's, it's a bit surreal, I'm humbled. It's a tremendous honor and uh, I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to all the challenges and I wanna continue the great processes that have been put in place and expand upon this great brotherhood and, and represent all electrical workers working in our trade. What's your vision for this local in particular over the next 75 years? What would you like to see? Continued growth. I mean, I, I've watched this local and I know Bob Frost, the business manager, and you know, he does things that need to be done. He does the right thing. He gets after it, he organizes, he's moving his members, he's involved and engaged in California Apprenticeship Council. Training is key to our success and future success and being able to adjust to market conditions, positioning ourselves so we're recognized as a go-to workforce. You know, this local has been through some challenging times, but as I watch the local grow and I watch them get after work opportunities, recently in that uh, solar arena, the, uh, the commercial solar arena, where they're actually getting involved in huge solar installations, I mean, it's cutting edge, it's innovative, we're doing the work, and this local union is at the forefront of that work process. So I look for great things to continue to happen with this local, and. I wish them all the 
best in the next 75 years and continued growth and expansion of this local union. Bill Perez, I'm the business manager, executive secretary of the Riverside San Bernardino County's Building Construction Trades Council. Okay. Mr. Perez, it's nice to have you with us. Thanks so much for taking the time. 75 years for IBW 440 in this area and uh, serving the region and its membership. Uh, your thoughts being here tonight and just kind of having a chance to take it all in. Well, I couldn't be more proud to be here. This is my 39th year as a member of Local 440. I grew up through the ranks. My father was a member. He was president of the local at one time. I became business manager in uh, 1995. I was manager for 11 years. I retired in 2006 and then went over to the Building Trades Council. So I'm really happy to be here tonight. Your thoughts on IBW celebrating 75 years tonight? Well, I think generally the attitudes have changed. Uh, when I first started in, uh, came into the office in 1991, organizing was sort of a new concept, which is, seems odd for a union to have organizing a new concept. But organizing the construction industry back then uh, really started being pushed originally by the IBW International in the late uh, late 80s mm -hmm. and and trying to get just the organizing culture uh, through uh, to the membership as well as the community and as well as the public has been a, a, a huge hurdle so it's an ongoing process so I think we're going to continue to gain membership we're going to continue to gain market share and uh, that's going to help the NECA contractors going to help all the IBW folks as well. Mayor Rusty Bailey, City of Riverside, joins us now. And Mr. Mayor, it's nice to have you. Well, thanks for having me tonight. It's a beautiful, beautiful evening in Riverside. A beautiful evening in Riverside, indeed. 75th anniversary IBW local, local 440, celebrating 75 years in the community. And they worked on this very building here, Riverside Convention Center. And it's got to be kind of neat to come in and see this kind of event held where they've done some of their handiwork. That's right. Well, it takes a team to get anything done, right? And so we believe in teamwork in Riverside, and IBEW has been a great team player. How important is it to, you know, in this day and age to have that kind of to teamwork, organized labor in the community, as far as playing a really an important part in the community overall, bringing back the middle class and having that vibrant lifestyle as a middle class, the backbone of, of the American economy. Yeah, yeah, well we want to be inclusive in Riverside and so we want to have a diverse portfolio of jobs and and we can't just try to attract the high-end jobs, the, the knowledge-based economy. We want to make sure that everybody feels at home here and feels accepted here and so um, making sure that we have that diverse again portfolio and opportunities for everyone um, at every level. Well, not many organizations make it to 75 years. Not many people make it to 75 years. And so congratulations to IBEW for their incredible work that they do every day for our city and for our, our region and for our country. And so uh, as the mayor of Riverside, I'm proud to have IEB workers uh, working for our city, in our city, and, and keeping us going. How important is it to have organizations like the IBEW, organized labor, getting together to help the economic growth in any area? Well, it's very important, uh, especially uh, an organization like IBEW that's been around for as long as it has been. I think that uh, it's the foundation that it is laid over the 75 years that's going to help it continue as we go forward uh, for the next 75 years. It's one of the more important organizations uh, to ensure that the middle class uh, has a uh, good foundation uh, for good jobs in the area.